If you feel like you have symptoms of COVID-19, you are running out of time to test for free, as you could soon be paying for at-home tests. Alejandro Hernandez spoke to a pharmacist about what you can do before this deadline hits. The clock is ticking. Free at-home COVID tests are set to expire in May, meaning dollars will come out of your pocket for those tests. But what exactly will happen to everyone? If you don't have any uh, test kits at home and would like some, uh, then certainly you can ask your pharmacy provider for those. There will be available for sure until then. For pharmacies, you could see less at-home tests in store. It would be short term because again, uh, widespread right now availability of these test kits and right now to my knowledge, there's not any shortage of them. The end of the public emergency will no longer mandate companies to provide the tests for free. It could affect the most vulnerable. People who are covered by Medicare, whether that's Medicare disability and or people age 65 and older who rely on Medicare uh, for their prescription drug needs. Mooneyham said there's a possibility government or private insurance companies could still cover the test after the public emergency ends, but there will still be other options. For those pharmacies that do in-store testing, uh, that is likely to continue to be available. Again, most insurance companies uh, have some criteria in place uh, for in-store testing to continue. The time to stock up is now. Many insurance companies will provide up to eight tests per month, and they will last. It's averaged anywhere from six to 12 months extension. We usually provide that information on a sticker on the box when we dispense from our pharmacy, but it is also available online. Should your insurance company decline to pay for those tests, you could be paying anywhere from seven to $20 per test. In Jonesboro, Alejandra Hernandez, Region 8 News. And the national public health emergency for COVID is set to end on May 11th.